Hello and welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by tastycheats.com. Today I'm going to show you how to create the front and back effect of a badge in Photoshop. There will be two videos on this, one on the front and one on the back, so if you're interested in how to create the back, you can jump ahead uh, using the link in the description. Anyway, so this is a visual I recently created for my website and to do this I had to create a single badge like I'm about to show you and replicate it a whole bunch of times, um, rotate it and change the colour. So I wanted to share with you how I created this badge and for this example I'm going to use this visual here and this pattern in the background. So let's get into it. Now the first thing I'm going to do is create a new canvas. Now I could either come up to File, New but what I like to use is all the shortcut keys, so I'm going to press Command N or Control N on a PC and that'll bring up a uh, new canvas properties and I'm going to call this Badge Front and I'm going to make sure that the width and height is about 30 centimeters and the resolution is 150. I could easily push this up to up to 300 but I'm just going to keep it at 150 for now so it runs quite quickly. Um, that will give us a nice a, a good size canvas so we can get a good resolution on that. Now with our new canvas selected the first thing I'm going to do is create a new layer. I could easily come over to the options and create a new layer but I'm, again I'm going to use the shortcut keys. So by pressing Command, Shift and N I'm going to create a new layer and I'm just going to call that background for now and I'm just going to hit that with a, a black and I'm going to change the opacity to 5%. Now I, I'm going to do that because as I start to create our white badges I want to see what I'm dealing with. So again pressing Command Shift N I'm going to call this Base and with that I'm going to come over to my menu and grab the ellipse marquee tool and I'm going to start to draw a circle. Now as you can see here I'm, I'm clicking and dragging and I'm about to draw a circle but if I press Shift I can get a nice scaled circle. So by holding shift I can get a nice scaled circle and that'll do just nicely and I'm going to fill that with white. And there you go, we can see we can see what we're dealing with now. Now you know why I created that black background. So with our circle in place we can start to build the layers to make our badge. So I'm going to come over to my layers panel, right click on the base and just duplicate the layer and I'm going to change this layer to bevel. Okay, and I'm going to double select, double click rather, sorry, double click on the bevel and come over to the left where we've got all our style options here, our layer styles, and click on bevel and emboss. And I'm going to change the style or keep the style to inner bevel. I'm going to change the size to a, roughly about 70 and the softness to around about 10 and let's see how that is looking. That's looking just fine. That is going to do for now. And again, I'm going to come over to my layers panel. I'm going to right click on the bevel and go on the bevel layer, duplicate layer, and I'm going to call this inner glow. Okay. And I'm going to double click on that layer and come over and I'm going to deselect the bevel and emboss and I'm going to select the inner glow and with that I'm going to click on the inner glow so we can change the properties and I'm quickly going to change the blending mode to normal I'm going to click on this white color picker here I'm going to change it to black okay and I'm going to push the size up quite substantially let's say to about let's let's make it a cool even 100 and the choke Mm, let's say about five. Okay, so there you go. Now you might be wondering, well, we just created ourselves a bevel and now we've created it in a glow. Why, why have we done that? We can't see our bevel anymore. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the layer style to multiply, the blending mode to layer style, uh, multiply. And I'm going to change the opacity to about 50%. Now, what that has done is that's created a nice soft inner glow but kept that dark bevel so it, it keeps that sort of 3D looking effect. 
And now it's time to add some color. So I'm going to come over to my menus, my menu box, toolbars, and I'm going to select the magic wand. And I'm just going to select in that circle to select the, the circle area there. And I'm going to press Command Shift N to create a new layer. And I'm going to call this color. Okay. And I'm going to find myself a purple color. Okay. And I'm just going to hit that and fill fill that circle area. And then I'm going to come over to my blending modes, my layer blending modes, and just hit multiply from the drop down, hit multiply, and that will reveal all those nice shadows underneath. And now it's time to add some highlights to this badge to make it look a little bit more authentic. So again, I'm going to come over and select my magic wand <clears throat> and select the color area and press Command Shift N to create a new layer. I'm going to call this Highlight One. Highlight One. And I'm going to come over to my color selection and select a white with my paint bucket. I'm just going to fill that area white. Okay. So what we've got is we've got a solid white circle. Now with my circle marquee selection tool selected, I'm just going to drag by pressing shift and drag, I want to try and create an area which is just slightly bigger than that white circle. Let's go for, say, that area there. And with that area selected, I'm just going to click and move the selection area around just a little bit. And what I want to try and create is like a, is like a little half moon crescent shape. Obviously not that big, but just something quite small. And what you can see there is by moving the selection up a little bit, I've uh, I've revealed, uh, I've exposed a little area just there. Now if I press delete, by pressing command D, I can deselect, and I can move this around. You can see what I've created there. I've created a little sort of crescent. And the next thing I'm going to do is with that, I'm going to come to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. I'm just going to tweak our blur a little bit. So we can just blur up that little highlight there. Let's try and get something we're happy with. I'm going to go for 20, 20, for 20. Okay. And we can move that in. You can see it's looking quite nice. But again, when we applied the Gaussian blur, it's it's feathered the whole thing. But what I want to try and achieve is a nice clean edge there. This can be achieved by just putting our crescent shape on the edge of the circle, just moving it slightly off the circle and come into the layer underneath and selecting the outside area. We can come back to our highlight one, press delete, command D to deselect and V to grab our move tool. And if we move this up, you can see that now we've got a nice sharp edge and that looks really nice. But just to finish off that highlight, I'm going to come over to my eraser tool and I'm going to select a brush um, around say 700, that looks pretty good to me. And I'm going to change the opacity to about 50% and I'm just going to dab around the outside of the highlight so it's not massive, it's just a little, nice little highlight. There you go, so it's not too intense. And then I'm going to come over to the Layers panel, and I'm going to right-click on the Highlight 1, and I'm going to duplicate that layer and call it Highlight 2. And pressing V to grab the Move tool, I'm just going to move that crescent up and press Command-T to toggle Free Transform. I'm just going to rotate a little bit and just put it somewhere else. So we've got ourselves another highlight on the badge. So again, position that. And that's looking just fine. But I think I'm going to change the opacity to around 40%. There you go, so again, it's not too big. And click on the highlight one and change the opacity of that to about 50% or, no, let's keep that at 60. There you go, it's looking just fine. And the next thing I'm going to do is add 
a light shine, a classic effect, which you see a lot. So I'm going to command shift N, create a new layer. I'm going to call this light shine. And I'm going to come over to my ellipse selection area. I'm going to draw an ellipse, but this time, instead of drawing a perfect circle, I'm just going to draw a sort of squashed, a uh, sort of squashed looking ellipse there. And with my paint bucket, I can select the white and fill that. Command D to deselect, V for the short for the move tool. I'm just going to move that in place. And this time, I'm going to select with the layer selected, I'm going to come down to the bottom of the layers panel and click add layer mask. Now, when you add a layer mask, you've normally if you look closely on your layers panel, you've got two areas there. Left is the is the box we just created, and on the right is the layer mask. So I'm going to grab the rectangular marquee tool and just select over that ellipse. And with our gradient tool, just double just hold, press and hold on the paint bucket if you can't see it, and you'll have the gradient tool. And make sure your colours are set to black and white. I'm going to click and drag over the square and you can see what's happening. I'm creating that layer mask. I'm just going to get something I'm happy with. There you go. That looks fine to me. And press Command D to deselect. And make sure in our layers panel we've selected the, the left square, which is the actual object. And you can see what that has done. We've got that classic light shine effect. I'm going to change the opacity to about 90. And I think we are now ready to start adding some content to that badge. If we quickly take a look at our example, you can see I've got this stripe texture in the background. To create this is very simple. Press Command Shift N to create a new layer. I'm going to call this strips. And using our rectangular selection tool, I'm just going to draw a tall thin strip and using our paint bucket and the white I'm just going to fill that in there. If I move the strip over by pressing Alt, holding Alt I can move the strip over slightly. Now what that does is that just duplicates the layer very very easily. Once I've moved those strips in place I'm going to come over to my layers panel and you can see it's duplicated a few layers there by pressing the top one holding shift and selecting the bottom we've selected all those layers and press command E and that will flatten those layers. If I press command T I can toggle the free transform by pressing shift alt I can scale these strips up nicely excellent. If I come down to my color layer use my magic wand and select that area in there come back to my strips and add a layer mask then I'm going to come to my opacity and change that to about 30%. And that's looking good there. Now lastly, <clears throat> I'm going to grab my highlight tool. I'm going to move it in. It's looking a bit weak there. So I'm going to move, change the opacity to about 60%. And I'm going to move highlight 1 up a little and change that to about 80%. It's looking good. And if we look closely, strips is actually on the top. So I want to move strips underneath the light shine. I'm going to grab my text tool and hit POW. There it is. Press Command T to rotate that and move that into place. Double click on POW. I can add a stroke. Push that up there and change the color picker to that dark purple there. It's looking just fine. And lastly, I'm going to add a drop shadow to the base, double click on the base, and click on drop shadow, and change the opacity to about 40%, and there it is, there is our badge. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. If you did, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, as there will be lots more videos like this coming soon. And if you're interested, hop over to my website at tastytutes.com, you can see a whole bunch of other videos just like this. So, be sure to watch the next video where I will demonstrate how to create the back of the badge. Have fun guys, and I'll see you in the next